Here is a trivia, a bit of quiz uh, trivia for you. Today, this year, more people have been killed by something than sharks. Did y'all read this story? It's a real interesting story. It's making its round, not only on the internet, uh, but I also saw a television newscast about this last night. And it's a true story. There, there is a, a, a lifestyle that has killed more people than sharks this year. You know what that lifestyle is? Safe to say... Each and every one of you have participated in this lifestyle. And it's killed more people than sharks have killed people this year. You know what it is? I'll give you a hint. Some of you already know. Some of you don't. Here's the hint. It is endemic in our culture. It is um, a phenomena. There is a man who has made billions of dollars from a device that has emphasized this type of lifestyle. All right, some of you, no idea. Selfies are responsible for killing more people than sharks have killed this year. Selfies. Now, I I open that conversation or that monologue because, um, man, I think it just speaks to the heart of our world that we are we're uh, selfish. We're obsessed with self. The world revolves around us. And you may be thinking, well, Frank, but I'm a Christian. And I'm called to deny myself. And, and that's not about me. And I want to say, really? Not that this is a foolproof area to take a look at. But in social media, I see so many people... I see so many people falling all over themselves that claim to be Christian that are, are, are saying inappropriate things or liking inappropriate things. And, and you know, my, my thought is we, we need to be careful here. We need to be careful about pride, selfishness. We need to be careful about sin and how we um, look to the rest of the world. Now, I'm interested. This, here's a little bit of a tangent. Before the program today, uh, there was a news story that had to do with a very high-profile person in the media that claims to be Christian. And um, the, the, the video clip is this person walking out to a huge auditorium, thousands of people, and this person goes into a little bit of um, a monologue about the core of happiness in life. And it had to do with um, spirituality, not religion. It had to do with finding your purpose as a caring, love-centered human being. And this person went all over the place in, in, in talking about respect for all religions and let's all love each other. And this person is very popular. In fact, some of us that recognize Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, we, we, we really share some time with this person, whether it's watch the channel said person is responsible for or programming. Talking about Oprah Winfrey. And Oprah Winfrey, I'm sorry, is a New Ager. She supports the New Age movement. Um, This past weekend, I had the unexpected, um, I'll say privilege, of speaking at um, Grace Baptist Church in Santa Clarita to a group of people about my background in the New Age. I was a New Age teacher for more than 20 years. New Age is extremely, extremely dangerous. Not only because it appeals to sin, and this obsession with self. But as it applies to everyday life, it's everywhere. I mean, this idea of love and spirituality, truth in all religions, we've got this level of political correctness. And I talked um, Sunday about my past and the dangers, and immediately after I was done, a woman came up to me screaming at me 
really startled me. And her story was very sad and devastating. She said her husband was deep in the New Age movement. He was obsessed with self. If you don't know about New Age, part of the um, the lure, the dark lure of New Age is that you can almost become godlike. You know, part of the way it's peddled is enhancing all of your abilities, becoming the best that you can be, reaching your potential as a human being. One of the popular phrases, and Oprah loves to say this phrase, we're spiritual beings having a human experience. And I don't want to be disrespectful here, but whatever that means. But this woman came up to me and was screaming, literally screaming at me, saying her husband used to be in the New Age movement. He was obsessed with um, becoming godlike, and he took his own life. She talked about her family and the devastation and the way things are now. And I think her anger was obviously about the pain that New Age philosophy is responsible for in, in her life right now. And so here's what I'd like to go. We're going to open up the phones for one segment, 888 5552 I want to talk a little bit about New Age philosophy. And for some of us self-avowed Christians, I have to tell you, there are some of us that still are involved in New Age and we think we're Christian. There's a conference coming up I will not name. I will not name who's in the conference, but I see it in social media. It's uh, a couple of high-profile people that are former pastors. Now they're really close in the New Age movement to Oprah, etc. And I see all of these people on Facebook, that I look at their profile, they say, Christian, they're all over this. Like somehow it's about abundance and about being the best that you can and all about you and you and you and what you can do and your goals and successes and happiness. And last time I looked in Scripture, it said something about denying yourself. 